A day meant for a celebration, one of the young people had recently bought a car. He and his friends headed to town to celebrate his achievement when the tragedy struck. Six of the youngsters were learners at Mazizini Senior Secondary School. We are very much traumatized by the situation. Uh, we were busy with our preparations for our trial examinations. But what happened now, this mishap has disrupted our plans. As learners of the school, we feel very emotional. We do not know how to, how to, um, how to deal with the situation because we've never been in such a situation before. It's new to us and it's terrifying. Parents of the learners are devastated. We are really overwhelmed by this tragedy as parents of this community and of this school. We as parents, we have trusted the school with our children, not knowing that one day we'll have this moment. We are, we are grieved, really grieved by this moment. When I think of how my Ulungile was so brilliant and vibrant, I become very emotional. He did things that were above his age, he would advise me on many things. I don't know how I will survive after his passing. All spheres of government contributed to the preparations of the memorial service. The initiative of holding this memorial service came from the leadership of government at local level, provincially and national. I actually interacted with the leadership here to say this is something that we ought to do because it's unprecedented, particularly in this village and the neighboring villages that you have a situation where 10 children uh, diminish at a go. Six of the deceased have already been buried. Four others will be buried in the next four days. Funisom Sekude, SABC News, Dujwa.